evening and welcome to the Victorian Football Show here on Channel 31 and thank you for your company. A great show coming your way and we're kicking off the show with a friendly game that took place last Wednesday night. Where else? At Bob Jane Stadium, the clash of the two champions. The Victorian champions, South Melbourne, against the national champions of Australia, Melbourne Victory. Over 7,500 people came down to Bob Jane Stadium and it was a fantastic night. Of course, only one minute of stupidity by a few people gave the opportunity to other networks, to other media networks to discredit our game. But otherwise, it was a fantastic celebration of Victorian football. Why don't we go now to Bob Jane Stadium and all the highlights of this fantastic evening. What a historic afternoon, South Melbourne against Melbourne Victory. And with me um, in the uh, pre-game uh, drinks, we have the Chief Executive Officer of the Melbourne uh, Victory Football Club and also the Football Director, Jim Marinis of the South Melbourne Football Club. Gentlemen, what a historic day. This is the, the clash of the champions, isn't it, Jeff? Well, look, um, both clubs have got a proud history, a much longer Certainly. history for South Melbourne uh, than us, and they've been a, a champion team in, in uh, Victorian football for so many years, and a really proud history championships produce so many great players and uh, they've really done so much for football in this state and, Definitely. and uh, we're looking forward to having a, a great practice match tonight and um, you know it's great to be out here. And what a fantastic achievement for Melbourne Victory, champions of the National League and of course South Melbourne, champions of the Victorian League. This is an incredible moment, what a historic moment really. Jim you must be delighted and we spoke a, a bit earlier on today, uh, you were very very uh, excited about uh, tonight weren't you and you worked very hard for this. We are Ross, absolutely. It's, uh, I always say it's three years in the making. To think that uh, South Melbourne FC three years ago was in administration, we came out of it. Last year we are premiers, we're looking to go to back to back. And just speaking with Miles and the relationship we've developed in the last couple of days and weeks, we're really looking forward to uh, putting this practice match on the park. And at the end of the day, it, there's only one winner out of this and that's football. And, and it's that great is. to have him here too. And here we are at Bob Jane Stadium, Wednesday night, and what a fantastic evening, the big clash of the champions. The champions of the National League of Australia and the champions of the Victorian Premier League. Who are we talking about, Arthur? Melbourne Victory National Champions and, of course, South Melbourne Victorian Champions. What a fantastic night here at Bob Jane Stadium. Just starting here at Bob Jane Stadium as Victory kicked to the goal left of screen. And a very exciting day here. We've got about uh, just under three and a half to four thousand people here. The shot across goal just wide there for the victory and uh, an early chance there for the victory. Inches wide of Langerak's goal. His big guns for the real game on the weekend. The big derby with Heidelberg United. Ball forward, hit it away. Chance now for the victory. The shot across goal and a great save there by Langerak. Gee, that was a difficult one there, Arthur. Boy, had to get down pretty quick to catch, uh, to just push that ball away from the goal. Free kick now. Inside the box now for South Melbourne. Direct shot uh, wouldn't go astray here. A bit of a breeze going across the ground. The shot. Kalegovic gets behind the ball. And safe hands. A good effort that uh, from afar. He's got Keenan wide if he needs him. The ball played uh, deep, but uh, easily mopped up there by DeVito. Waterson, not a good ball by him. Caceres, you know he's got a bit of speed. The shot across goal, 1-0. Caceres has punished South Melbourne and Waterson for that silly mistake there. And right through his man there, Caceres has finished it off. 1-0 to the victory. Beautifully taken. He just tapped that ball. He knew exactly where he was going. Tonus going to the back post. The header. And that was inches over the bar. Worthwhile stuff that. And uh, just when you thought uh, Tonus was going to thump it, smartly played to the back post there. Caldwell. Can he get past his man? And Waterson now, and claims for being pushed, but uh, not so, oh. Waterson. And cleared away by Galegovic, the pass back there really was pretty ordinary there. 
It certainly was, and there's another little mistake that might have uh, resulted in a goal for South Melbourne this time. I've just been told by one of the South Melbourne officials... There's still Give about, me the good news, Arthur, There's still please. about a 1,000 people outside the gate, so that, how, how about that? That is just incredible stuff. Ball forward, Thompson, 2-0. And a deadly finish there. The ball across goal, and no doubt there that... Too much time on the ball for Thompson, and he's finished it easily there. Two goals to nil to the victory. Well, Arthur, he's had so much practice in last year's uh, a grand final. What do you expect? you think he was going to miss that? He's had so much practice putting them away, hasn't he? And that was just a sheer quality finish there. Quality. A few people might have misjudged the kickoff times here. A lot of people would have thought maybe the kickoff time was 7.30. Here comes Caceres again, Arthur. Beautiful to Alsop. Will Alsop, he put it away? Great save. What a fantastic save. Absolutely brilliant stuff there. And he held it too. That was absolute sheer quality stuff there by the youngster. Arthur, I know we said this before. Oh, here comes an opportunity again for well, South Melbourne. Oh, what a great save. It's in. There it South is. Melbourne scored. The save there, but Caldwell has made it 2-1. And South Melbourne get a bit of uh, joy there. Vasquez has come on uh, for South Melbourne. Yeah. A nice, uh, exciting youngster as victory go forward again. Caceres causing a bit of trouble. And Langerak mopping up there. A couple of runs forward, but not uh, that dangerous in the forward line. And here comes Archie Thompson. Also up on the left there. Lovely That's move. It. And again. And oh, look at this. Sheer class. This is superb. This absolutely is absolutely brilliant. brilliant. Did you see that? That was just magic stuff from who else but Archie Thompson. He fooled three players there. They thought he was going to go and have that shot. One, two, and three, and in goes the ball. Well done, Archie Thompson. Three, one. Absolutely brilliant stuff there. Look, it's very difficult to uh, to stop a player of that caliber when when he has such a command uh, of both both uh, uh, feet. Cool, well, oh, and that's just inches wide. And that, that could is... have been the one to bring him back, couldn't it? Yes, absolutely. Muscat and uh, Tsonis respectively a chance now. Elsop, good save again. And the return header, it's in! Brilliant What stuff. a great goal there by Elsop. And unfortunate for Lankarak there, saving the initial shot, the rebound header, making it four goals to one to the victory. Absolutely fantastic reflexes. Uh, that was superb, wasn't it, really? No doubt about that. Um, what a tremendous buzz for him. Great and there's, forward. talking of tremendous, here comes Archie at the end of a great pass. A nice Thompson. one. The header, uh, just wide there. Ibrahim almost made it five. And a good chance there, Ross. It's now to go forward for South Melbourne. Pile. Pyle got a bit of room, maybe doing a little bit too much, Pyle. Waterson. And the shot uh, was a little tame in the end. Didn't get uh, the best out of what should have been something that uh, would have at least forced Galegovic into a better save than that. 12 minutes uh, or so left on the clock. Waterson. Let's see if we'll see another goal after. Let's hope so for the fans' sake. Ball forward, a chance now for South Melbourne. Caldwell, great save, Galekovic. There's a deflection on that, and Galekovic, reflex save there. Killing ball, it's five! Absolutely brilliant goal, that. And sheer class that, the free kick there. 
What a magnificent header that was, Arthur. Sensational it, it start. It was a rocket to start off with, and all it needed was a little touch. Here's the ladies with the throw. And it's all over here at Bob Jane Stadium. Five goals to one victory here by the Melbourne victory against South Melbourne. A clinical performance and some quality finishes by the deadly duo Thompson and Alsop. I'm with the coach of Melbourne Victory, Ernie Merrick. Well, Ernie, what a fantastic night and a celebration of two champion teams. The champions of Victoria against the champions of Australia. What a fantastic night. It was a, a great night and I think 8,000 people really enjoyed themselves. Uh, it was a credit to South Melbourne uh, to put on a show like this and come at us. It was end-to-end -end type stuff. And uh, we thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a great hit out for us, and it was good for the young VIS boys that played. And some well, of the... we noticed that. You put on quite a few VIS boys there at the end, and what a great experience for them. Well, it just shows you the developing talent. I know that South Melbourne had a few youngsters they out there too, as well. as well, yes. And uh, some of the 15-year-olds year out there are going to be big names in the future. And Fantastic. as I say, it just shows you the development programs at club level as well, so good. Uh, John and Mrs. Shah is here from South Melbourne. Uh, John, uh, great to see 7,500 people at the ground today. I uh, know the result uh, was not what you would have uh, liked, but no doubt um, you, you were playing with really half your, your main squad. Oh, look, this, uh, the result's insignificant, really. It doesn't uh, really concern us. It was a practice game. Uh, we enjoyed having victory here today and, uh, you know, the best team in Australia, playing the best team in the state. Um, so we're, we're pretty happy to have them here. And uh, it shows uh, 7,500 for a friendly game on a very cold Wednesday night. It was, uh, says it all, really. But um, at the end of the day, it was about a celebration of football. And, um, look, a lot, of my, a lot of the young boys that we had today gained a bit of experience, a bit of exposure, and, and that's what it's about. Um, you know, we, we had half the team out, and that, but that's, again, I said, the results are insignificant for us. Uh, we, our bigger pitch is the VPL at the moment. Uh, that's where we're at, that's reality, and that's where we're at. And uh, you know, we, we want to concentrate on a big game we've got again uh, this Sunday.